Hello everyone, this is Catherine A. G. A. K. Nurgleism here again. I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking a little bit about a video I was trying to upload on Mother's Day because it's about my mom. But um, for some reason it wouldn't upload. Um, so I would urge you, please, if you're watching this, subscribe to my channel. Because once I get to a thousand followers, I can resume live streaming again. That way you'll be notified when I make videos. I won't have this problem of uploading videos. And I can make longer videos. So it'll be good for everybody. Um, I'm going to get my makeup now. Should have done that earlier, I guess. But I didn't. Anyways, um, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about my mom and my most vivid memory, which is honestly the worst memory. Um, but up until I was 11 years old, my mom was normal, bubbly, fun, great. She was, um, a volunteer at my school all the time. So on field trips, I would always have money, um. Uh, She'd always come on field trips. She'd be a substitute teacher sometimes. And when I was in first grade, she was the picture lady, which I've talked about before, which meant she would bring a famous piece of artwork to school and teach us about the piece of artwork and the artist, which was really fun. I always liked it whenever she would volunteer at my school. Um, so whenever I was 11, um, she would, we would have a routine of, she would read me and my sister who's two years younger than me every single night. So my sister was nine. And we were, um, making our way through the Harry Potter books. And we had just been to the mall in North Carolina and bought the fourth Harry Potter book, Goblet of Fire. Jump Flynn was the largest and longest book. I think so might be mine, I'm not sure. Anyways, so we were not that far into Goblet of Fire. We just got into the part where we're Harry, Ron, and Hermione get to the professional Quidditch game. And, um, when my mom was reading it to us, suddenly she starts learning her words. Um, she couldn't remember it, so what she was at. Me and my sister freaked out, and my sister's always been more pragmatic, and she went and got my dad, while I started freaking out and crying, um, and my mom got taken to the hospital, and she was having her first stroke, which she recovered pretty quickly from. She was able to regain her ability to drive, um, most of her, I guess, personality was still intact, but, um, when I was 13, she suffered another stroke, and this one took more of a toll on her body. She lost her ability to drive, to do most things around the house, except for light things, like, she could still do laundry, but she lost her ability to cook, um, and do stuff like that. Um, most of her days were spent just watching TV up until 2006. Um, me and my sister, she had therapy for a while and she went to it for a while. It didn't really help. Um, she used to walk around the house in a wheelchair outside of the house. Me and my sister tried things like making pop culture test for and helping her use the computer but my mom really didn't take to any of that so we tried to help her regain some of her abilities but they never really came back and then in 2006 my mom suffered her most fatal stroke and um 
I drove her to the hospital this time, and it took about an hour for them to finally see her. I knew she was having a stroke, but the hospital took forever, which, if I'd known it at the time, I would have called an ambulance, but, um, I was 17 at the time, and I didn't know any better. I just took her to the hospital, so... Anyways, um, then in early November 2009, in the very early morning, I was kind of hungover, my, um, dad called me and my sister and said, the nursing home, or hospice care my mom was at, said that she was going to pass, because they could tell whenever, um, someone was about to die by looking at their veins and stuff like that. Um, and I hadn't seen my mom in a while because it was just... Yes? Hello. Um, 